I'm building new friendship, which is kind of wild because I really do not want to have new friends, to be honest. I'm just okay. I already said to myself, like, I'm pretty okay with the four or five friends I have. I don't want to have new friends. Not because I don't want to have friends. I don't know how to make friends. Is that true? I don't know if that is true. Maybe I'm not just trying. Or maybe I'm trying and people are not trying. But I, I know that I already said I don't want to, like, I'm not interested in building new relationships. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Funto. I'm in Nigeria living and studying in Moscow, Russia. Actually, I keep saying studying. And then I get people asking me in the comment section that, oh, are you still doing your master's? No, I'm not doing my master's degree. I'm doing my PhD. I'm a doctoral student. And hopefully by God's grace, by next academic year, I pass my candidacy exam and then I become a PhD candidate. Yeah. But yeah, that's... <laughs> but that's that. I'm a doctoral student at I School of Economics, studying education policy, to be precise. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel... <laughs> Shakira for you at this point. I think I need to buy Shakira tambourine or jingle bell. I think it's about Shakira and um, bell to be honest at this point, but yeah. And if you're a returning subscriber, jingle bell for you. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for always watching my videos. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. I mean, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Guys. In today's video, I'm just going to be, I, I don't know, I'm gonna link the video here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when I went to buy this Canva board. I don't know why, if you guys remembered, but yeah, I bought this Canva board sometimes. Um, I think March, if I'm not mistaken. I think I bought this in March, and it's time. I said I'm going to vlog and carry you guys along and show you when I finally paint this art. So this as a sketch. This is a sketch Canva already. And I'm just gonna be because obviously I don't know how to, I'm not good with art. I'm not good. So I actually went for a sketched board. So I'm just gonna be following the colors, the color codes here, right? And I'll, I'll just let carry us along while doing this. Let's get started. I also got a box of um, acrylic paints. Acrylic, uh, acrylic paint, and it's a box of twelve. Let me see. I've, do you know, like since I got, I've not opened it. So let's unbox and see what colors we have. I see what colors we have. Confession. So this is what we have. It's giving poster color. This is not poster color. I don't know. It's giving gouache. Post up color, but let's see. I mean, fair enough, we have like enough paint. And now I'm thinking if I want to actually follow this color code, or I just want to be creative in my own color and just hope it comes out well. While at it, I'm going to be giving you guys some teas, um, taking you guys through my. My personal life, to, to be honest, um, what relationship has been like for me, what living in Russia, because a lot of people have been asking me, to be honest, and a lot of people have been asking me to give, like, honest opinion about living in Russia. I'm trying to know, I wrote it down. Let me see what I want to tell you guys. Let me see what I want to discuss with you guys. Um, hmm. Why am I chewing up like this? Be around Okay, so I'm going to be discussing my life, literally, my growth, into bracket relationship, finances, um, my relationship with God, right? Personal relationship with God and then relationship with people, then finances, how, how, what actually changed, what actually um, inspired me, not, not maybe inspired is literally not the word, but something gingered me to start saving this year. And yeah, you guys will find out about that as well. Um, toxicity. Hey, toxicity. What? Toxicity. <laughs> toxicity. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Toxic. 
toxic <laughs> tox no toxic hey jesus hey where english teacher Toxic toxicity yeah that's the word right toxic toxic toxicity hey. i don't know so let me know what the uh, correct pronunciation is right like how have been able to deal with toxic people toxic environment and how have been able to create my distance and space with people that actually even considered friends that we really don't talk anymore or maybe we talk and then it's just being civil and being casual um my energy level and friendship literally and i think that i'm building new friendship which is kind of wild because i really do not want to have new friends to be honest i'm just okay i already said to myself like i'm pretty okay with the four or five friends i have and i don't want to have new friends not because i don't want to have friends i don't know how to make friends is that true i don't know if that is true maybe i'm not just trying or maybe i'm trying and people are not trying but i, I know that i already said i don't want to like I'm not interested in building new relationships, new friendship with people, especially if you're a guy. If you're a guy, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I have enough male friends already. I have like two male friends, very close friends, and three female friends, like very close friends, right? And um, yeah, pretty much. I don't want me anymore. I don't want male friends anymore. Like, mm mm. You cannot be my close friend, you cannot be my best friend, you cannot be friends. Like, friends, but mm -mm. So, let's get started with the video. Let's get started with the video. Mm. Let me tell you what this art is all about. This is a tree and a bridge and a house, and then some trees at the back. This is a little house. Okay, yeah, house. So guys, actually, I went to the store to grab something. So I tried to get you got. So, yeah, I actually went to get chicken for tomorrow. I tried to get you got. So I got you got. Right, the paper is not needed, <laughs> but yeah. Lenta fresh. This is gonna be my dinner. <laughs> Weird, but yeah, this is gonna be my dinner because I don't have energy. To cook anything actually not that i don't have energy um i don't know i just want to have a god tonight and then this is the brush set that i ordered so let's open let's open smelling it's smelling like nail cutters is that what they call it nail polish i think that's a better word i don't know who said i wanted white so anyways these are my brushes and what colors are we using i think that i want to use green white gold i don't know yellow something something but let's see This she got has a very funny taste that I do not understand. But I'm gonna use I'm gonna finish it because I cannot waste my money. Hmm. <sighs> so what are we doing? What are we doing? So I actually do not I actually do not want to miss out on what I said I wanted to talk about. And I do not want to go off point. So So we start talking about life in general first. Guys, I'm gonna wear my glasses. So life, hmm. How has life been for me? If I'm being honest, guys. If I'm being honest, life has been good. Life, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna deny that fact. Life has been good to me, in general, and I'm grateful for that. Um, God has been good. To be honest, I'm just grateful for genuine friendship, genuine relationships, 
uh yeah genuine relationships literally i'm just grateful how far god has brought me um life 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 is life in if that makes any sense to be honest life is life in so well, that is that on life and when it comes to growth when it comes to growth i feel like actually feel like i'm stuck kinda I, maybe i'm not but i just feel like i want to leave this country there's nothing wrong with being here i just i don't i don't like being in the same place for a very long time which is weird because i grew up in nigeria which means I spent good 23 years of my life in Nigeria, in Africa to be precise because for a, for a period of time I was not in Nigeria so I mean if you calculate all the times I was not even in Nigeria safe it's not even up to one year like even if you calculate all the trips I made all the um if I put all the trips I made throughout my period well, throughout my 23 years before I moved to Europe i i don't think it's up to a year if you calculate everything together i think the most time i spent outside of my child like two months three months ish yeah three months ish that was the longest time i spent outside of nigeria then every other time that i left nigeria i went back like after a week after two weeks after yeah pretty much yeah that's that about growth so relationships hmm when you, so for me, I, I don't know, I, I don't know where I stand when it comes to my relationship, but this is about relationship with friends, how I've been able to build relationships with people, how I've been, my relationship with God, and I think that's very important, to be honest. Um, guys, if you, if you, I don't know how to put it because actually it's what i don't know how to put it but i would just say that if you are struggling with your faith find a local church that can help you grow um a, 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 a local church that would help you grow not staying at home and streaming online and thinking that everything is going on and thinking that everything is going to work out fine I mean, things would work out fine whether you go to church or not. But then there's this, there's this feeling that you have when you are with a community of people. So if you are a Christian, if you're a believer, and you're struggling with your faith, I would advise you go to a local assembly, join some brethren. You guys should worship together. Um, make friends. When you go to church for me my relationship with god is is a very personal one um i'm also growing if i would say that i'm also in the process of learning growing on learning a lot of things that i learned while i was very young um some theologies that i learned just uh, that, i'm in that process right now and i just think that I think I'm in a good space when it comes to my re a very, maybe not not very good, but I think I'm in a good space when it comes to my relationship with God. Um, I'm not perfect. I'm not there yet, so I'm not just I'm not gonna come here act like oh everything's up popping. Uh, oh I'm the best Christian out there. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna come and lie to you guys. I'm also struggling with my Christian life. Maybe struggle is not the word. And I think one thing that is helping me with my relationship with God is my spiritual parent, my mentors, my pastors. They've been very, they've been, they've been very helpful to my growth, my spiritual growth. Um, I'm not the kind of person that would mention him here. But they've been very they've been very very helpful to my growth actually my mentor like that sometimes we would call and shoot most time we call and just talk about faith and just talk about how i am doing spiritually how what what where i am 
at that particular moment where we were when we we're having that conversation and i think that it's just a good thing it's a good thing when you have people that you're accountable to people that when you call them and tell them that oh you're struggling with your faith the first thing they say is no oh like they're not judging you right away they ask you what is happening like where are you how i can hold your hand to to navigate this phase of your life and i just think it's interesting when you have people like that around you uh so yeah that's that so my relationship with god um i'm i'm on a journey i mean i'm on a journey of self-discovery when it comes to that um funny enough this week one thing i said to myself i want to be like my i want to be like pastor Emmanuel Iren. i want to preach the gospel the way he preached the gospel pastor not necessarily pastor but celebration church pastors preach the gospel in a very in a very f- understanding way and i actually want to preach the gospel the way they preach the gospel i want to understand the word the way they understand the word sometimes my mentor is quoting some places in the bible and she's trying to explain to me even though i've read that particular part in the bible before i still i'm like oh really this is what this part is saying it's just something i'm grateful for that i have people like that around me to help me literally in my relationship with god then when it comes to relationship personal relationship like relationship I do not have a relationship. I don't have anything to tell you guys about relationship. All I can tell you guys about my relationship status is that I am very single. Very, very single. Ready to mingle. Ready to settle down. I'm not yet to do or some. Let's see where it's going. No, that's not what I want to do in my life. You get it? Yeah. If you don't get it, forget about it. But yeah, that's that's where I am in my, rela- my personal relationship. Relationship that we had... To marriage that would head to us building our own family our own godly family um yeah that's where i am friendship relationship with friends so let me tell you guys something i have i i don't like i said earlier in this video i'm not i'm not on a quest to look for friendship i'm not looking for friends i mean if new friendships pop up along the line i'm opposed but i'm not I'm not searching. I'm not interested. Um, it's not pride. It's just, it's just that I'm in a place right now where, just I'm in a place right now where I am not interested in trying to challenge myself to anybody. I'm still watching my relationship with my best friends. I have, for like, let me tell you guys something, yeah. Let me tell you guys something now to use brown for the bridge so let me tell you guys something here yeah? so when it comes to be having friendships yeah i have acquaintances i have close friends close friends are those ones that they will know what if you call them and say where funto, they'll tell you where funto is do you get if you call them and say oh what i'm like oh i've been trying to reach funto um and i don't know where she is do you know where she might be perhaps yeah those ones are close friends because they will definitely know where i am right but you not see my best friends those ones are the ones that those ones are the ones that i can i can i can jump fence for like i can help i can i don't know how to put it like those ones are the ones that like am i ride or die those ones are the ones those People in that category, I've known them for four years now, four or five years now. Ah, that's true. Right. So those ones, I've known them for like three, four, five years now. And I'm in a fix and I call them. So something happened to me last week. And close friend circle did not know. Close friend circle did not know. Okay, I think one person in close friend circle knows. Knows about what happened to me last week. But you see, those in 
best friend circle they know what happened they even prayed with me they were they were there they were there they were there they were there so those ones those ones are are there do you get so that's where i stand with friendships to be honest i just feel like my best friends need I, i'm someone that gives my whole to a relationship do you get i'm someone that gives my heart to a relationship so i do not want to be responsible for more than i can handle right i don't want somebody to come and start saying oh are you call yourself my friend because something i can do if we call ourselves friends and then you don't give me that attention that i think i deserve as your friend i'm someone that will come at you and say and i thought we were friends right um so i'm not ready for that kind of commitment yeah that's the word i was looking for i ain't ready for that kind of commitment so yeah pretty much pretty much that on that on on friendship so finances something made me start saving this year um as much as it's uh, i don't know so there's this program my church in Nigeria does every year. It's called Reboot Camp. And I'm always angry every year if I cannot meet Reboot Camp. I've been attending Celebration Church now for almost six years. Right? For almost six years. I think Celebration Church will be 12 this year. So And I've been attending since we're five. So I think, yeah, and since I've been attending Celebration Church, if I tell you that I've not for once attended Reboot Camp, you probably will not believe me and it's not because of anything it's not because even when i was in nigeria i never attended rebel camp right and then you will ask that so why is that now it was not now that you traveled after you are now interested in attending reboot camp so i'm going to tell you guys why i've never attended rebel camp i've never attended rebel camp because most time i'm not always in nigeria I'm literally not always in Nigeria in December. Like first, second week in December and early January, I'm almost always not in Nigeria. Um, and yeah, that's why I've never attended Rebel Camp. So now that I moved to Russia, it, it's always paining me that I cannot attend. So, and I made up my mind I'm going to attend this year. And if I attend this year, I'll start attending Reboot Camp every other year. No matter the country, no matter the continent that I find myself. So, that is why I started saving this year. And I like, I like it that. I like it because something, something I love gingered me to start saving. And I, not until now did I realize that I used to spend lavishly. I'm a very lavish spender. I'm not proud of it. But I am a very lavish spender. And I realize that if I need to... Because, I mean, I'm the one shouting that I want to have a relationship. I'm the one that shouts that I want to settle down. But how do I want to settle down if I don't have money? If I don't have savings? Right? How do I plan a wedding if I don't have savings? So, that as well. It's something that ginger me to start saving and so guys if you know any invest because i actually want to start investing as well i spoke to my brother i was like oh i'll start saving and then recommended i start it was like what do i have like you may have to question i don't want to do real estate because i feel like real estate investment is the deal right now right and like there is a good amount of returns on real estate investment so he just told me that i should use one application like that i don't want to mention their name because i ain't giving any brand free publicity on my channel so yeah so that's why i said i said because i said because of book but then along the line i realized that Funta, if you need to if you want to settle down you need to you need to get your you need to get your things you need to get yourself together when it comes to your finances um yeah and i know that 
this is by this. I know that I'm meant for a soft girl lifestyle. I don't know if you guys know what soft girl lifestyle means, but I know that I'm meant for a soft girl lifestyle. I'm not. I'm not meant to suffer. So, which means that I want to travel as well. So, my finances this year is looking good. Not bad, to be honest. My finances this year is giving. It's giving what it's supposed to be. It's not giving what it's supposed to be giving yet, but it's giving. So, that is where I am financially. And I know I said to myself that I want to be a millionaire by what age? By 25. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm in a happy, happy, I'm happy place. My finances, I am very happy to be honest. And I think something, something, something gingered me to start saving, and I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy. So I'm trying to get gold. I don't know what I'm doing right now. This brown and yellow do not give. It's not giving good. But yeah, that is where I am. With my finances my energy level this is i do not understand to be honest i just feel like i'm in a place where i just feel like i'm in a place where i don't want to be friends with just anybody i don't want to yeah i'm in a place where i don't want to be Hmm. yeah i don't want to be around people because i just realized that even people you call your friends not all of them but some of them do not give you back the same energy you give them and for me i do not like it i have some people i don't talk to anymore i have some people that we we used to be very good friends back in 2021, but we're no longer friends, I assume. Because I cannot I cannot be the only one calling in a relationship. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. So even like so but for ladies, I tried to revisit the friendship. I tried to see if I was the problem, I tried to see where I went wrong and all of those things. I asked which we, we sort out things. I have a, a relationship, a friendship actually, that it's the rock in my first year, my master's first year. And I'm happy we spoke things, I, I'm happy we spoke about what the issue was. Honestly, I was happy we spoke about it. And I just realized that, and both of us realized that we're at fault. And we apologized and then we moved forward. And now we are good, we are back to where we were. In 2021 when we just met even before we met so we are back to that place and we are trying to build our relationship again right so that is the kind of person I am I like when you give me the same energy I'm giving you so I know we're on the same page I know that um, yeah I know I'm not alone in the relationship so you don't so the energy you give me the energy I give you and the energy you give me needs to match up. If not, I withdraw. And that is it for me. And one thing I hate the most in my life is toxicity. Right? I like that that thing hurts the head hard of me. Like I do not like any form of toxicity in whatever form it wants to come. I do not buy it. Like don't bring that thing to me do not bring that energy do not bring me that vibe i do not buy it like mm -mm -mm -mm. um i think for me i and lately have just been my health my health has been playing tic-tac-toe on my head and i'm just trusting god for a better health that as well is something i want to focus on in this in this year and one other thing i want to do is self-care i honestly want to take my health seriously this year and beyond so see where we are guys 
They said the roof of the of the, they said the, this roof is brown, so it has to be brown as well, as well, as well, as well. So yeah, this brings us to the end of this video. Um, I'm done painting. I had to finish the painting off camera because the video was getting too long. And rate my painting out of ten. What do you guys think about my artwork? What do you guys think? Rate it out of ten. Also, let me know in the comment section what guys are up to what how you treat friendship relationships and how you deal with people that do not match your energy do you like sit back and wait for them to like come back alive or do you also give them the same energy they are giving you just let me know in the comment section and this brings us to the end of today's video please if you enjoyed this video thank you for watching because this is gonna be a long video and please don't forget to like do not forget to share do not forget to subscribe and turn your post notification bell to get notified every time and anytime I post a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.